An American man is sentenced to life in a Russian prison, controlled by a corrupt and sadistic warden, where he must fight to survive. Welcome back to Movies Explained. Today's film is an action thriller from 2003 titled In Hell. The movie opens with Kyle toiling away in a steel factory while his wife, Gray, tends to their home. Gray calls him to inquire about his return time, and Kyle, regretfully, informs her that they'll have to endure another six months in that location. Despite this, Gray assures him she's okay with his decision. Later that night, Kyle was driving back home when he called his wife to let her know he was on his way. However, during their conversation, a man named Sergio Kovic is lurking in their home. He viciously attacks Gray, and despite her attempts to fight back, he brutally stabs her. Horrified by her screams, Kyle races home while trying to dial the police, but his calls go unanswered. Upon arriving at his house, Kyle is devastated to discover Gray's lifeless body, and his grief knows no bounds. The assailant takes a swing at Kyle with a vase before booking it. Fired up, Kyle takes off after him. In a desperate bid to catch the killer, Kyle boards a moving train where a confrontation ensues, but Kovic manages to jump off the train. Following the chase, they're both brought to the police station. However, Kovic leverages his influence and bribes the judge, resulting in winning the case due to insufficient evidence. Kyle is left heartbroken and enraged by the injustice. Determined to take matters into his own hands, he shoves aside a police officer, grabs his gun, and unleashes a barrage of shots that ends the man's life right there in the courtroom. As a result of this crime, he receives a life sentence in prison without the possibility of parole. He's transported to Kravai prison, where General Khrushchev, the warden, makes an example out of an inmate in front of the newcomers, sending a clear message about the consequences of attempting escape. Then everyone was taken inside, where they had to turn in their belongings. There, Kyle is beaten by Lieutenant Tolik for refusing to surrender his wedding ring, the one thing that reminded him of his beloved wife. Despite Kyle's resistance, Tolik forcefully takes the ring. Later that night, under the harsh flicker of the corridor lights, the guards lead Billy Cooper to a secluded cell. Inside, Andre, a feared gangster with deep ties to the prison's underground network, awaits. His reputation for cruelty is well known among the inmates. Having bribed the guards, Andre is allowed to unleash his brutality on Billy in a horrific display of power. The morning after the violent incident reveals the harsh consequences, Billy, who is badly injured and traumatized, is escorted to the infirmary. Andre leaves the cell with a disturbing calmness after inflicting such horror. As he walks past Kyle, his arrogant stride and the cold amusement in his eyes remind Kyle painfully of his wife's murderer. Kyle, enraged and unable to hold back, confronts him. Their altercation escalates quickly, until the guards intervene dragging a defiant Kyle to solitary confinement. Kyle, exhausted by the terrible conditions, decides to go on a hunger strike and even attempts to take his own life. Suddenly, a moth flies into his cell, triggering a memory of his wife telling him that when someone dies, they turn into a moth and return. Haunted by memories of his late wife, Kyle finds the strength to survive and eventually gives in to eating the provided food. He is then moved to a cell known as inmate number 451, known for having killed his previous cellmates. Kyle becomes wary of his cellmate because of his notorious reputation, but he chooses to keep his distance and remains silent. After a few days, his brother-in-law pays him a visit, reassuring Kyle that efforts are underway to secure his release. In the meantime, he advises Kyle to pay the guards occasionally to make his life easier in the prison. At the prison yard, Kyle meets Billy, the American who reveals he's serving an 18-month sentence for driving under the influence and crashing his car into a restaurant. That night, haunted by relentless nightmares, Kyle's sleep was anything but restful. The dark echoes of his dreams spilled into reality, causing him to thrash violently. His cellmate, provoked by the disturbance, lashed out in a half-hearted attempt to strangle Kyle, but stopped halfway. Kyle shot up and warned him sharply to never do that again but the other prisoner just hissed for him to keep quiet. The next morning, Kyle, Billy, and Malachi were at breakfast, talking low. They advised Billy to keep his head down so he could get out without any more trouble. While in the yard, Kyle attempted to bribe one of the guards with some cash to arrange a transfer to another cell. The guard accepted the money, but demanded more and asked Kyle to wait. Shortly after, a fight broke out, which appeared to be staged. 
Kyle was confused and approached Malachi for an explanation. Malachi revealed that the guards were behind these fights and they made a lot of money by betting on them. The fight was between Andre, who had previously fought Kyle, and another opponent. Andre was stronger than his opponent and had the support of the Russian Mafia, making him the favorite to win. Andre was also the best fighter in the prison and had never been defeated. As the fight progressed and Andre was winning, the guard overseeing the bets intervened and stopped the fight to prevent the guards from losing too much money. That evening, Andre lured Billy into a cell, having paid a guard to let him have his way. But this time, Billy was armed with a makeshift knife. In the struggle that followed, Billy ended up getting hurt with his own weapon and had to be rushed to the medical clinic. The next day, while out on the railway tracks doing repairs, Kyle got shoved by another inmate, sparking a fight. The guard initially moved to break it up, but then stepped back, letting other inmates join in. They brutally beat Kyle until the guard finally intervened, warning him not to try being a hero. This wasn't America, he sneered, and sent Kyle off to solitary confinement again as punishment. Locked in solitary, Kyle found himself haunted by memories of his wife, but a familiar sight, a moth in his cell, offered a brief sense of comfort. Despite being cooped up, he was fed regularly and even had to deal with rain leaking into his cell. After enduring these harsh conditions for several days, a guard finally came to release him. Back in the yard, Andre and his crew warned Kyle they were out to get him. The situation escalated when a member of a rival gang violently killed a fellow inmate, going so far as to decapitate the victim. This outbreak of violence prompted the guards to intervene, ordering all the inmates back to their cells to restore order. Once in his cell, Kyle picked up a book left by his cellmate and tried to read a few lines. However, he quickly stopped as his cellmate returned, and Kyle moved aside to give him space. That evening in the canteen, tensions escalated. Andre approached Kyle, threatening him with a nighttime confrontation. Unable to contain his anger, Kyle stormed over to Andre's table and started throwing punches. The brawl was intense. Guards struggled to pull him off, but Kyle was relentless. Finally, the guards dragged him back to solitary, locking him up for an even longer stretch this time. Alone in the cell, Kyle heard the distant noises of the prison and pounded on the door in frustration. Realizing he had to defend himself from further threats, he began to physically and mentally prepare for whatever lay ahead. The next day at the railway tracks, the guards spotted a hidden minefield. As a patrol car approached, the guards yelled for it to stop, but it was too late. The vehicle triggered an explosive and was blown apart. Amidst the chaos, Billy made a break for it. He ran for two hours, covering significant ground, but eventually, he was captured and brought back. The guards beat him mercilessly upon his return, while another inmate who tried to escape was shot dead on the spot. In the days that followed, Kyle focused on his physical training in the cell, building his strength. He transformed into a tough opponent, ready to face Andre in a highly anticipated showdown. As the fight kicked off, the crowd and the guards backed Andre, expecting him to easily defeat Kyle. Initially, Andre dominated, knocking Kyle to the ground. However, Kyle managed a stunning comeback, tackling Andre and biting his neck in a desperate move. The scene turned chaotic as Andre's friends tried to intervene, but the senior guards called for the fight to end. But it was too late. Kyle had fatally wounded Andre, leaving everyone in shock. Back in his cell, Kyle's cellmate was the first to speak to him, asking if he felt any satisfaction from his victory. Following this brutal display, the guards used Kyle as a weapon, forcing him into fights that brought in substantial profits. He became a relentless fighter, killing his opponents and fulfilling every demand from the guards. His cellmate noticed a drastic change in Kyle and remarked that he had lost himself to the system. Days later, Kyle adopted a new look to match his hardened persona by shaving his head. His brother-in-law visited him and informed him that the embassy might arrange his transfer back to America. But Kyle, who had been deeply changed by his experiences, refused any help and asked his brother-in-law not to visit him again. He believes nothing will change and doesn't want to set himself up for disappointment by getting his hopes up. Later that day, as everyone lounged in the field, Kyle sat alone in the yard, his eyes on a nearby fight. Suddenly, Billy approached him, whispering plans of his escape scheduled for that evening before slipping away. Moments later, Kyle's Selly joined him, 
Sharing news of a new prisoner, Valia, brought in specifically to challenge Kyle. Shortly after their conversation, Valia made his entrance. Muscular and imposing, he introduced himself to Kyle, setting the stage for their impending confrontation. That evening, as prisoners and guards gathered in the lobby for a scheduled event, drama unfolded. Billy, attempting his planned escape, was caught. It was revealed that Malachi had tipped off the guards in exchange for medicine, leading to Billy's swift capture. Furious, the guards brutally beat Billy, with the head guard threatening to further punish him. The guards then threw Billy into Valia's cell, and the chilling sounds of Billy's agonized screams echoed through the facility. The next morning was grim. Rushing to the scene, Kyle found Billy bloodied and beaten on the cell floor. In his final moments, Billy urged Kyle not to lose himself to the brutality of their environment. With those last words, Billy died in Kyle's arms. The guards buried him crudely in the mud, marking a sad moment that deepened Kyle's resolve. The next day, the guards set up a fight between Kyle and Valia, but Kyle decided not to fight back. When Valia started hitting him, Kyle stood firm and refused to retaliate. Seeing this, the head guard stopped the fight and had Kyle strung up in the field, displayed before everyone as a warning to change his stance. The following day, tensions escalated when Kyle's cellmate confronted Malachi, blaming him for Billy's death. Malachi pleaded, claiming he had no choice but to inform the guards about Billy's escape plan in exchange for medicine. Unconvinced and enraged, Kyle's cellmate set Malachi on fire, and he died right there. Later, the head guard threw Kyle into solitary confinement once again. All by himself, Kyle took some time to think about his journey, from the suffering and abuse he endured at the hands of his peers, to the difficult decision he had to make to kill them in order to survive. After his time in solitary, Kyle was released and moved to the infirmary to recover. While there, he spent some time reminiscing about his wife, Grace. She expresses he joy over his return, motivating him to stay on the right path. As Kyle endured days hanging in the field, his resistance began to influence the other inmates. They started to question the brutal rules imposed by the prison authorities. United by Kyle's defiance, they collectively stood up and declared they would no longer participate in the fights. This act of rebellion infuriated the prison authorities, who then plotted to make an example out of Kyle intending to execute him brutally in front of the other inmates to reinforce their control and crush any dissent. After Kyle had time to recover, he was brought in front of all the inmates, where the guards introduced a massive deranged prisoner who had been locked away in solitary confinement. This prisoner immediately attacked Kyle, trying to crush him and throwing him across the hallway. In a critical moment, Kyle recognized him as the prisoner who had been locked next to his cell. Kyle tapped on the wall, a gesture from their past interactions, which jogged the other prisoner's memory and caused him to stop the attack abruptly. Watching this unfold, the head guard, frustrated by the disruption, drew his firearm and demanded they resume fighting. Instead, the once solitary prisoner turned on the guard, attacking him and then targeting the warden and other guards. Although he was shot down during the melee, his actions sparked enough chaos to incite a riot among the other inmates, leading them to break out of their cells and overpower the guards. During the chaos, Kyle and his cellmate walked out into the yard, observing other prisoners trying to escape. They watched other prisoners attempting to escape, but decided to stay back and reflect on the situation. Kyle shared his backstory with his cellmate, explaining how he ended up in prison. Together, they devised a plan to escape from the oppressive confines of the prison, determined to regain their freedom. After being taken back to his cell, Kyle's cellmate gave him a disturbing record that recorded two decades of prisoner fatalities. The cellmate then encouraged Kyle to fight again, as the head guard wanted him dead for his betrayal and was planning to execute him in an open field, providing Kyle with a potential opportunity to escape during the process. Kyle agrees to participate in another fight, which General Hrushov views as a victory for himself, as he sees it as a chance to eliminate Kyle for good. The next day, Kyle faces Valia in a desperate battle fueled by the need to avenge Billy's death. Kyle performs well in the fight against Valia, managing to dislocate his shoulder. As the fight turns in Kyle's favor, Valia, realizing he is being overpowered, pulls out a hidden blade and tries to stab Kyle. However, he accidentally wounds one of the gang leaders. Kyle takes advantage of the situation and bashes his head on the pole while the crowd cheers for him. 
In the meantime, Kyle's cellmate managed to sneak through a secret passage that led to the garage where the prison vehicles were parked. As the head guard Tolik was taking Kyle out to kill him, the cellmate ambushed the guards and helped free Kyle. After retrieving the keys from one of the guards and unlocking Kyle's handcuffs, Kyle reclaimed his wedding ring and dropped the lifted car on Tolik, crushing him. He then quickly changed into the guard's uniform and got into the warden's vehicle. Kyle urged his cellmate to go with him, but the cellmate declined. The cellmate assured him that no one would stop a vehicle recognized as the warden's and handed Kyle the incriminating records of the illegal fights. Kyle drove out of the prison, while his cellmate returned to the general's office to get revenge for his misdeeds. The cellmate killed the general and drank his wine until the guards came to take him away. Kyle's escape marked the beginning of the end for the prison. His testimony and the records he shared exposed the brutal conditions and illegal activities within the walls, leading to the eventual shutdown of the facility, notorious for its severe treatment of prisoners. The movie concludes with the prison's closure, a grim reminder of the lives lost and the ultimate price of justice. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more videos.